30 years have since passed. And while a whole lot has changed, the song remains the same. The Wolf Still Rocks. Hey there, it's Brian Ellis, Morning Show 101.5 The Wolf, continuing our 30th anniversary video series. The Wolf launched on February 14th, 1992, and these two guys along for the ride most recently, I would say. And uh, we've got Luke Foster and Kyle Van Lusen. Hey, guys. Hey, Brian. How's it going, man? Good, good. Um, you guys uh, hold down the fort on the weekends, and you do a lot of fill-in. Uh, we'll start with you, Luke. Uh, tell us about uh, your journey to the Wolf. You were in Lindsay uh, at a station. Yeah, I was uh, working out in Lindsay, living in Peterborough, but uh, working out at the station in Lindsay, and I, um, you know, was keeping an eye out for any postings that the Wolf had, and as soon as I saw it, I... Uh, jumped on board and luckily i was hired on <laughs> all right and, uh, came and, on. Uh, kyle kyle van lusen now where were you and how did you make it to the wolf so i was at durham radio for uh, close to five years and then the pandemic happened and i'm like i don't know if i'll ever be working in radio again because obviously the future was so unclear and then i saw a posting for the wolf on i think it was in d.ca and right away i sent in my resume and i'm like this is a, an opportunity that i definitely don't want to miss for sure so um, with you, Luke, I know you are yeah. a Peterborough guy. So, yeah. you know, you, you grew up with the wolf, listening to the yeah. wolf. And um, you were telling me a story uh, prior <laughs> to this video about that you actually applied to work, but it didn't work out with us in the very beginning. No, I, uh, <laughs> no, I, uh, yeah, well, like you mentioned, I did grow up listening to the wolf. So, I mean, this 30 years, it's kind of come full circle that I'm working here, but I did. Uh, years ago now uh, apply for the wolf because I didn't know like I, would, I knew I wanted to be the on air on the wolf but I didn't know you know I didn't have any experience I had no background in radio I had nothing so of course I didn't get the job and I found out oh I got like there's a course that I can take a, a college course so yeah I went down to loyalist and took the course and eventually here I am uh, now full circle now I'm oh. on air on the wolf so it was a station yeah. that I grew up listening to so yeah yeah but no, it didn't, didn't work out that first time. But luckily, a second time's a charm. <laughs> yeah, and, and Kyle, uh, so and where are you from, Kyle? I'm from actually uh, Bowmanville. Okay, so you you had heard of the Wolf, I guess. Well, yeah, it's interesting because like I, I was a listener as well because my dad, throughout his entire life, always lived in Peterborough. He actually worked at a few newspaper companies in Peterborough as well and sold cars there. And then uh, my grandparents were from Peterborough as well. And the family camping spot was always beaver meat. So we would go there a few times a summer. So I always considered Peterborough to be my second home because whenever I wasn't in Bowmanville, Peterborough would always be my, my second place. So that's kind of how I got into it. Okay. Um, Luke, uh, so you started uh, working with the Wolf uh, on a yeah. part-time basis, yep. weekends and things like that. And and one of the things um, with you and, and Kyle both is you've sort of done it all on, on the Wolf side, with the exception of, I think, the weekday morning show. You've not filled in there, but right. you've done every other shift. So you've got yep. a lot of experience uh, built up uh, over the last little bit. Yeah, no, it's 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 been weird. Uh, not weird. Um, the different the, the different experiences. It's it's what's weird about it is just a difference in in approach and and uh, and whatnot for the different shifts. You know, it's it's um, not that I try to copy, but you know, the weekends like that's my day on the wolf. Like the Sundays, um, that's my day on the wolf when I'm covering for Scott. Like I, you know, I'm listening to Scott, so it's not like I'm trying to copy him or or yeah. anything, like his style on air, but just making note in my head that you know it's it's this is scott's time normally and i'm just yeah. kind of here for now but uh or currency for if that's the case but uh yeah i yeah, know it's yeah but so, it's, it's a lot of fun so as we look um at your time that you've spent so far uh, with us both of you guys and i guess kyle i'll go to you um the one thing that there's two things i guess um there's a a shout out that you do on social media and you've also kind of uh, adopted the top of the rock countdown as your own, because that's the show that you host on Saturdays. Let's start with the shout out. How did you sort of think to get that going? And tell, us about, tell us about how, how, how that works. 
I wish I could take credit for that because it's a genius idea, but I had not come up with that at all. Okay. <laughs> it was our uh, it was our promo team. I have to give them a gigantic shout out. Both uh, Getty and Carrie came up with the idea uh, to both Luke and I. And and at first it took a little like while to get off the ground, but now like it seems that everybody around Peterborough just absolutely loves it. And it's a great chance because, of course, with this pandemic, uh, how important it is to support local. It's given a lot of local businesses a great opportunity to shine. And I'm sure Luke feels the same way, but I feel like grateful that we can be like a small part of that for sure. And, yeah. and Top of the Rock Countdown um, f- f- is something that you host from noon to one. And, and you know, you're given the the theme of the of the show and. Here's the songs, but, um, you know, you do some pretty great research getting ready for that show. It's interesting because, like, I do consider myself to be pretty knowledgeable when it comes to music, specifically rock music. But when you go to these websites like songfacts.com, there's so much that you're like, holy crap, I had no idea that was even a thing. And I think I'll be honest with you, it's my favorite part of the show because it does give me an opportunity to get creative and uh, to uh, challenge uh, our listeners and to challenge myself too, because there's a lot of stuff, a lot of great rock and roll stories that I was not familiar with until doing this countdown. So it's definitely my favorite part of the show for sure. Yeah. And, and Luke for you, um, you know, I know that you um, are big into the, the arts community of, of Peterborough yeah, yeah. and, and talk, talk to us about um, your time with the wolf and things that you've been able to see or do or MC and, you know, it's been able to get out and yeah. do that stuff. Right. That, uh, that part is, I mean, this isn't a job. Like when you love what you do, it's not a job and all like the, the perks, I guess, if you will, of, of, of being part of the station and like going to see shows. Like when I was younger, I used to go to all like the festivals and all the concerts. And then, you know, you grow up and you have kids and like that kind of stuff. And then, you know, you now I'm back on the wolf and I'm back just like on, on a shift. Matt Walsh, lead singer of Three Days Grace, just randomly popped into the station when we, this is when we were still downtown. And just like those kinds of experiences and like meeting uh, bands like like you mentioned, you know, I emceed for the Sheepdogs at uh, the Peterborough Music Fest uh, one summer, and and meeting them and like bands that you know you you're a fan of, like you have their albums and you know their music and you've been listening to them, and you meet them in person and having that opportunity, oh, it's just, uh, it's it's awesome. I just I love that that I love it. I love it all. I really do. And, and I know Kyle when the Memorial Center was doing the uh, the parking lot concerts, right? Uh, because mm-hmm. of the pandemic, uh, you emceed one or two of those shows, I believe. Oh, quite a few of them. Yeah, closer yeah. to yeah, closer to like four or five. But but my my highlight for me, like as Luke mentioned, like it really is surreal when you meet people that you grew up listening to and who have been on regular rotation throughout your life. Uh, so in terms of my personal highlight in terms of emceeing an event there. Uh, was by far Jim Cuddy of, of Blue Rodeo. Like, like that blew my mind because, I don't know, I was kind of like a loner in, in high school. So I would go to like Blue Rodeo concerts by myself and to actually be introducing uh, somebody who I respect so much uh, musically, it, it was incredible. That was definitely, it's something that still sticks with me for sure. Absolutely. Um, so Luke, uh, on a personal side, you've got a daughter. I do, yeah. Five year old, right. just turned five year old, five years old. Right. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. So he's been listening and, to the wolf too. <laughs> hey, there you go. Nice, yeah. nice. And uh, and for you, Kyle, uh, did you go to uh, to radio college at all before you uh, making your your jaunt into radio? It's so interesting because uh, Luke and I were only a year apart at Loyalist College. Like we right. never hung out, but like we saw each other in the hallways. Uh, so he graduated the year before me. And, and when I came in, because Luke obviously trained me, it was like, whoa, you look familiar. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. Listen, guys, I appreciate you taking a few minutes out of your uh, your day. Uh, we're, we're, we're doing this uh, on a day that you are both on the air. Uh, Luke, I guess you're on The Wolf. And then yep. Kyle, you're mm-hmm. over on our sister station, Fresh Radio. But, you know, you guys mm-hmm. interchange uh, throughout the weekend and, and cover off shifts. And uh, listen, I just wanted to, uh, to say thanks for kind of reminiscing a little bit about your time with The Wolf. Um, no problem. Thank you for including <laughs> us, you know, us weekend folk. <laughs> hey, I've been there. I, I know what it's like working the weekend. So I thought I got to include these guys. So Luke Foster, Kyle Van Lusen, thanks so much, guys. Thanks, Thank Brian. You, Brian. All right. Cheers.